In this section, we're going to have a look at how to work with employees in QuickBooks. What I mean is that we're going to see what's involved to add an employee and access and manage the payroll items that apply to them. I'm currently on my home screen. The place where you can see all things related to employees is in the Employee Center, accessible via the Employees menu over here. Now, what you may notice is that the Employee Center is set up very similar to the Customer Center and the Vendor Center, as I showed in Modules 4 and 5. On the left, you'll see a list of your employee names, and on the right, you get a preview of your employee information and the transactions pertaining to the employees you have selected, along with your to-dos, notes, and sent emails to these employees on these tabs here. Let's see what we need to do to set up a new employee. On top, I'm going to click New Employee, and in here I'm going to input my employee's personal info. My employee's name is Sean Green. Their SIN number is 999-999-998. His gender is male, and his birth date is September 1st, 1985. On the next tab, I'm going to put in Sean's address. and his contact number. On the next tab, I can input additional info I want for my employee, like employee number, account number, and billing rate level. All of these are for internal reporting. And on the payroll info tab, I would select which payroll schedule I want to apply for this employee, which we'll set up in the next section, along with my pay frequency. For now, I'll select semi-monthly. Under earnings, this is where I set my salary rates. So I'm going to hit the drop down, select salary, and to the right, I'm going to put in my annual rate of $70,000. If Sean was paid hourly, I would have to create a new payroll item and indicate the payroll item type as hourly wage instead of yearly salary. In the deductions section, I can select any deductions I want to take off Sean's paycheck. In this example, we are required to deduct $725 off of Sean's paychecks and remit them to CRA. So I'm going to select CRA Garnishment from the drop-down and type in $725 in the Amount column. On top, if I click Accrual Hours, I can set my values for vacation tracking here. And if I click Vacation Pay, I can set whether my vacation is accrued or if it's paid out on every paycheck, along with how much vacation pay is owed to date. For this example, I'm going to select my vacation pay as paid out on each paycheck, which is 4%. I'm also going to specify which accounts accrue vacation, which are all of these, except the vacation ones below and I'm going to hit OK. Under the Employment Info tab, here is where I would put in my information necessary for preparing records of employment. So my hire date for Sean is March 5th, 2019. When Sean leaves my company, 
I would input the release date and reason for departure in these fields here. And I'll fill in his occupation as warehouse manager. I'm going to hit OK. I'm also going to click set up now for federal taxes. In here, I would input the values from my federal and provincial tax deduction forms. In 2019, these amounts were $12,069 for the federal TD1 and $10,582 for the Ontario TD1. I'm also able to see if I'm going to have additional taxes taken off, like WSIB. Since the WSIB will apply to Sean, I'll keep it. But let's say I was adding someone to payroll in which the WSIB would not apply, like the director of a company, I would clear out this line here. So I'll hit OK. And I also wanted to mention that if you ever wanted to go back into this screen, like either to change the TD1 amounts or add on additional taxes not being applied to a certain employee, you can do so by right-clicking on the employee's name, hit Edit Employee, go back to this tab here, and select Taxes and TD1. So if I hit OK on these, I'm brought back to my Employee Center screen with my info for Sean added in. Now that we've seen how to add payroll items along with employees, Let's now see how we can run payroll for our employees in the next section. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see more QuickBooks Canada videos from Simon Says It, click over there. And click over there to upgrade to the full QuickBooks Canada course.